Hello, I am Remo Yesman, and this is going to be the top 10 reasons why Destiny is better than Warframe. Now, to start, I have already done the top 10 reasons why Warframe is better than Destiny, and to be honest with you, I kind of lean a little bit more towards the Warframe side of things, but I would be absolutely lying to you if I told you there aren't some things that Destiny does way better than Warframe. And there's some things that Destiny does that Warframe doesn't even do in general. So let's just jump into it with reason number one. Reason number one why Destiny is better than Warframe, the graphics. Now, I know some people may not think this one is important, but the graphics are one of the pillars of a great game. People like high quality graphics in their video games for the same reason they like high quality graphics in their porn. It's more immersive. And when it comes to graphics, Destiny kind of blows Warframe out of the water. And listen, I'm not saying that Warframe doesn't have some absolutely stunning graphics at times, but the thing about Destiny is sometimes the graphics in Destiny are absolutely breathtaking. From the moment you boot up the game, from the very starting area, it becomes immediately apparent how high quality the graphics are, and that persists throughout the entirety of your playthrough. Even in Destiny 1, the game was a visual masterpiece from start to finish. Very rarely will you find yourself ever doing anything in Destiny where the graphics are poor, and that's not something you can say for almost any game on the market. And look, if we're being honest, the gameplay in Destiny hasn't evolved a lot since Destiny's inception, but the thing about Destiny's gameplay is, no matter where you go, Every location is an absolute graphical masterpiece. It's fairly obvious that the entire game is held up by the art team. Whereas in Warframe, Warframe has some absolutely beautiful locations, but they in no way have anything on Destiny's art team. Reason number two why Destiny is better than Warframe. The cinematic moments. Destiny is a game that was built for big moments. If Michael Bay were to make an MMO type shooter with space magic, he would make Destiny. The over the top cinematics and all the crazy shit you see your guardian do kind of makes up for you actually not being able to participate in a lot of it. But the thing all these crazy over the top cinematics does is it gets you more immersed in the universe. It makes you feel like you're part of a larger narrative at hand. And I absolutely love it personally. The cinematics in Destiny are so good, they could actually be made into their own little animated movie and people would absolutely watch it. Like the opening Curse of Osiris cinematic, where you see a bunch of guardians fighting, going at it with the Vex, using supers and everything. And then Osiris appears out of nowhere and seemingly freezes time with some Vex time magic. And then he gets into that big ass fight where he has to use his super and he actually gets separated from Sagira. Like that shit was cool. It gave me a sense of urgency but it was just a damn shame that that DLC wasn't that good. Even the very beginning of the game, which you can't experience anymore, where you're running through the tower and it's getting invaded by the Red Legion, you finally meet up with Ikora, only to see her use a Nova bomb to take out a Cabal ship and she lands on top of it and disappears into the abyss. And then when you finally do make it to the location you need to be, you're stripped of your light and then you're fucking on the floor just getting your ass handed to you by Callus. That shit was cool. That shit gave me chills the first time I experienced it. Or when you're watching Cade 6 final fight 
where he's just putting on a master class against an army full of scorn and you know what's eventually coming, but you're still rooting for Cade only to eventually see him get gunned down by Aldrin Solve. Like that shit brought a tear to my eye. The cinematic moments in Destiny truly make you feel like you're part of the world. Whereas in Warframe, the cinematic moments are pretty good, but they don't have anything on Destiny's cinematic moments. And a lot of the cinematic moments in Warframe were added later in the game as the game was developed more. Whereas in Destiny, Destiny is a game built from the ground up for big moments. Reason number three why Destiny is better than Warframe. Crucible slash PvP. Come on, Guardian. Once more onto the breach. Now, depending on what type of player you are, Destiny PvP can either be the best thing you've ever played are your worst nightmare and an absolute drag for you anytime you have to participate in PvP activities. The PvP in Destiny has a low skill floor, but a high skill ceiling. And as a matter of fact, it has one of the highest skill ceilings Together, that you'll probably see in most PvP games. And if you never took the time to get good at Crucible, or to even develop your skills a little bit, Crucible is probably the bane of your existence. And listen, I remember when I first started PvP in D1, this was before YouTube was really big and before there were really like any real guides on Destiny. I remember going into Crucible and getting my ass absolutely dogged on every time. I would get two tapped by players running Thorn, and the only weapon I could get a kill with was a shotgun melee combo. It was really discouraging, but Remo kept working. Remo kept marching his ass out there and getting shit on again and again and again until eventually I did develop my skills and I could compete with some of the best players. And look, I've played a lot of PvP games. And despite all the bullshit we go through in Destiny with the meta loadouts and the skill-based matchmaking and the Titan go one shot, I feel really confident in saying that Destiny has some of the best PVP in the industry, hands down. And when I talk about the PVP in Destiny, I'm not just talking about the standard Crucible, I'm talking about the Iron Banner and I'm talking about Trials of Osiris, which both have their own exclusive loot that provide a nice little incentive. And then on top of all that, we have our own PvEVP mode, which is Gambit. And I know some players don't like Gambit, but I absolutely love Gambit. And I think Gambit is a brilliant change of pace to the standard PvP we have. Whereas in Warframe, Warframe, we have PvP, but it can't touch Destiny's PvP. And then on top of that, the PvP in Warframe is actually not bad. But the thing is, there's no real reason to play it, so the playlist is empty. Like, if you want to coax the majority of the player base into doing something, offer them a rare piece of loot. I mean, I bet if you throw a couple arcane energizers in that bitch, you'd populate the entire playlist in less than a day. Reason number four why Destiny is better than Warframe. Music and ambiance. Now, obviously I can't play any of the music for you due to copyright retaliation, but when it comes to music and ambiance in Destiny, everything fits the theme of what you're doing so well and it makes the world feel so alive and it gives you a sense of urgency depending on what you're doing. The musical scores in Destiny are some of the best that you'll hear in any game and from the moment you boot up Destiny 
you're greeted with the most beautiful musical score that's very reminiscent of Halo. And that's no surprise considering if you know who's actually behind some of the music in Destiny. No matter what you're doing in Destiny, the music will always fit the theme of what's going on and it will always amplify the atmosphere and that's not something you can say for a lot of games. How many games have you played where the music always fits the theme of what's going on? Whereas in Warframe, the ambiance is usually really good, but as far as the musical scores go, the musical scores are just pretty good, but they're still pretty forgettable. Like, there's only like four musical scores from Warframe that really stick in my head, whereas in Destiny, there's a ton. Like, I would buy the Destiny soundtrack, whereas I would not buy the Warframe soundtrack. Reason number five why Destiny is better than Warframe, the voice acting. Now, in no way am I talking about your actual guardian because in the entirety of the Destiny franchise, I can only recall your guardian speaking like one or two lines of spoken dialogue and I can't even remember what those lines were. But when it comes to voice acting from the NPCs around the Destiny universe, some of the voice acting is absolutely stunning. And when you hear these guys voice acting, it's obvious they put their pride in their soul into their work. And there are some really big names involved in the Destiny franchise. You have Lance Reddick as Zavala, may he rest in peace. You have Gina Torres as Ikora Ray. You have Nathan Fillion as Cade Six. You have Nolan North as the Ghost, just to name a few. If you don't remember anything else throughout the entirety of your playthrough of Destiny, you're damn sure going to remember Commander Zavala, Cade Six, Ikora Ray, Queen Marasov and Lord Shax, just to name a few. Whereas in Warframe, in Warframe, the voice acting is pretty good, but it's not as integrated in every single mission as it is in Destiny. And to be honest, one thing Warframe does have over Destiny in that regard is the fact that your operator actually talks. Your operator has full on conversations. But overall, when it comes to voice acting, Destiny is absolutely killing it. Reason number six why Destiny is better than Warframe, the raids. Destiny's raids are a whole ass experience. Destiny's raids are literally some of the best raids that I've experienced in any game, nonetheless a shooter. The raids in Destiny will either be the best, most memorable thing you ever experience or the most toxic thing you ever experience because oftentimes raids can be frustrating when you're trying to get a six man fire team together with all of the right gear and equipment in the right power level. And then on top of that, the right resolve to get the job done. But when everything goes right and you get the job done and you get that raid completion, there's no feeling like it in the entire game. The raids in Destiny have some of the most stunning set pieces that you're ever going to see in any raid in any game. And it's really something magical when you manage to coordinate with your entire team and pull off that first raid completion. It's a shame we don't have a rating point system to where after enough raid clears, you can just buy whatever you want in the loot pool because I don't feel like raids are something you should repeat again and again and again because I feel it kind of takes the novelty off of the raid. 
but regardless of that, raids are a great homage to in-game players, and no matter what first-person shooter you ever play ever again, you will never experience a Destiny-type raid in another shooter. As far as raids in Warframe, currently we don't have any raids in Warframe. I mean, we have bosses that act as pseudo raid bosses that sometimes you need to coordinate with a team to take down. But as far as raids, the only official raid we had was removed because I guess because not a lot of people did it. It required a Trinity and a bunch of other bullshit and DE. I think they just kind of gave up on raiding in Destiny because Anytime they design a new piece of content, you're so strong in Warframe, they have to literally design the content around nerfing the player. So I think DE just kind of gave up on raids as it currently stands. But yeah, as far as raids goes, there's probably no other shooter in the industry that will do anything on the level of Destiny raids. Reason number seven why Destiny is better than Warframe, the lore. Now, when it comes to lore in most games, there's not too many games that can top Destiny lore. Nonetheless, a shooter, you don't get lore like this in shooter type games. The lore in Destiny is so deep and so integrated in every aspect of the game it's absolutely amazing. Almost every gear you will acquire has some backstory to it that makes it so much better. And obviously, it would be better if all this lore was in the game in the form of a cinematic or something. But you have to think somebody took a lot of time and spent a lot of effort writing all the lore in Destiny and I know some of the lore continuity got messed up with the latest expansion that came out, but regardless of that, the lore in Destiny is absolutely brilliant. And even when it was on Grimoire cards, it was still absolutely amazing and it enhanced gameplay by a lot. I love every aspect of Destiny lore and one of my favorite lore pieces is actually from the orgs defeated card in destiny one the card reads death is the last part of living a life is learning to die the song is the same as the singing the last truth commands me to eat all the light in the sky i will go on forever i will understand dwell a moment on the weight of what you've just done contemplate the story you've just ended Will you ever do anything that screams down the millennia? Will you ever hammer your will on the universe until it rings and rings and rings? Oryx was an awesome power. Show reverence. All right, all right, enough. A vacancy has opened up, hasn't it? How interesting. How very interesting. Do you ever pause, dear listener? to consider who benefits from all this heroism you commit? Do you ever look around with the faintest chill as if you're the tiniest ball bearing placed beneath a great mass so that if one day, if pushed, it might begin to roll? You're a god yourself now. You've consecrated yourself. Emulate me. Use your power to learn. There are worse things to practice being. As for the lore in Warframe, the lore is pretty good, but in no way is it as good as the lore in Destiny. And then on top of that, sometimes the lore in Warframe can be kind of confusing to follow, at least for me personally. And on top of that, there's a ton of dedicated lore channels in the Destiny community, whereas in Warframe, there's simply not as many because the lore in the universe is just not as expansive as the lore in Destiny. 
Reason number eight why Destiny is better than Warframe. Seasonal events. Now one thing Destiny does better than most live service game are seasonal events. Destiny's seasonal events are no joke. Oftentimes, the developers go out of their way to change the entire layout of a lot of locations in the Destiny universe that you would frequent. And it really does give you a sense of the holiday spirit. In the Destiny universe, most of my great memories are from Destiny 1. But as far as Destiny 2 goes, I have some really great memories when it comes to seasonal events. And not only are these seasonal events fun, but oftentimes these seasonal events feature some really great loot. And to be honest, I know some people get frustrated with loot locked behind the seasonal event because it kind of forces you to participate in them. But overall, I really enjoy them and I think it makes the Destiny universe feel much more alive when the world is changing with the seasons. Whereas in Warframe, in Warframe we have seasonal events, but oftentimes the seasonal events in Warframe are not as flushed out as the seasonal events in Destiny. Oftentimes, what you'll see for the seasonal event in Warframe is you'll see the developers put up a mission queue in the form of an alert that is usually three to five missions that all have gifts from the Lotus. And depending on what season it is, if it's Easter, they may give you some free bunny ears. This year, we also got that egg ephemera that was pretty cool. If it's Christmas time, they'll throw you a Santa hat or an elf hat. And if it's St. Patty's Day, they'll give you a shamrock color palette. And it's all right for the most part because all this is free. But in no way do the seasonal events in Warframe have anything on Destiny seasonal events. And that's not saying a whole lot because there's probably not too many games in the industry that have seasonal events that can match the ones in Destiny. Reason number nine why Destiny is better than Warframe. Main antagonist design. Now, I know some people will scoff at this one, but I am not referring to general enemy design. I'm referring to the design of whoever the main antagonist is you're going up against. In Destiny, usually you always have a main antagonist and you know exactly what's at stake and you know what you're working towards. And oftentimes, even if you're just running a basic strike, Strikes have their own specific antagonist exclusive to that strike. Maybe you're running the Sunless Cell and you're going up against the Dark Blade. Or maybe you're descending through Hive Ruins in the Cosmodrome. That way you can find Omnigal. Like the first time I heard Omnigal scream, it literally gave me chills. And those are strike bosses. Or maybe you're running the Vault of Glass looking for Atheon, or maybe you're making your way through Kallus' ship, that way you can go up against Kallus. Like, the antagonist in the Destiny universe are so iconic, and if you don't remember too much else from your time playing Destiny, you will sure remember the main protagonist as well as the main antagonist. Callus, Atheon, Eryut, Oryx, The Witness, Tanix. No matter what, the antagonist and Destiny are pretty iconic and you will not forget them because usually depending on what you're doing, they're baked into every aspect of the mission. Whereas in Warframe, 
In Warframe, the main antagonist design is pretty good, but it's not as streamlined as Destiny. And then on top of that, once you complete the planet you're on, you're kind of done with that antagonist. He's kind of like the antagonist of the moment, if you will. And the thing about the antagonist in Destiny is the only one that I would call truly iconic is the Stalker. The Stalker is the only truly iconic antagonist. And the thing is, you're such a badass in Warframe that he really can't fuck with you. Reason number 10 why Destiny is better than Warframe, the open world. Now, when it comes to the open world in Destiny, if you're not running missions or if you're not doing Crucible, most likely you're going to be on the open world doing patrol. And Destiny's open world is unique in the sense that it can host about nine players. And it's really awesome when you manage to get all nine players together, all cooperating on a public event. And it seems like it's a lot more than nine players, to be honest with you. Destiny's open worlds are not only more expansive, but they feature these lost sectors and heroic lost sectors, which act as mini pseudo dungeons. And oftentimes you can get some pretty good rewards from the heroic versions of these lost sectors. And oftentimes in the open world, there's secrets to be found because oftentimes Bungie did go out of their way to add secrets. So you have something extra to hunt for on the open world. And don't get me wrong. I am not talking about open world traversal because traversing the open world is still as dull as ever. But when it comes to open world and open world exploration, I think Destiny is going to have almost any shooter beat. As for Warframe, the open world exploration is really great. But as far as the open world goes, you have three open world biomes and you have the, the very paradox. And then on top of that, it's really fun traversing the open world in Warframe. But the open world in Destiny is just bigger and it's a little more beautiful. And then on top of that, in Warframe, you can only have a maximum of four players on the open world at one time, whereas in Destiny, Destiny boasts a nine player open world count. So yeah, Destiny kind of has Warframe beat there. Listen, I'm not a Destiny hater and I'm not a Warframe hater. I love both games. The thing about Warframe is Warframe is held up by its brilliant moment to moment gameplay, its next gen movement system, and its slew of weaponry to roam the universe with. Whereas Destiny, Destiny is held up by everything else. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Remo Yes Man, signing out. Peace.